Hey guys, okay, this video is going to show you the restore process using the back WordPress Up plugin. Uh, the process is going to be just as easy as backing up the site, uh, and you're going to see here how easy it's going to be. So, in front of us here, we have the fresh installation of WordPress. So, we're going to pretend that the site crashed, um, you lost everything, so you deleted. Anything that was left over, you went ahead and installed a fresh copy of WordPress on that domain. Okay, and all I did besides install WordPress was I added the back WordPress up plugin as well. Okay. And here's the domain. As you can see, I went ahead and just added a title, but I'll go ahead and refresh the page. So you can see it's just, here's the Hello World post. It's a brand new site. Um, now, the first thing you want to do when you are ready to restore your site is from whatever location you have the backup files, go ahead and copy those files to your desktop. I'm going to, have, I'm going to minimize this here so you can see I have the file here, okay? So I copied it to my desktop. Now, I'm going to open up FTP here. Here's my FTP client. On the left, again, is my desktop, okay? On the right is the domain. Now, the first thing you want to do is copy the zip file from your desktop to your domain. I already went ahead and did that just to get that out of the way. You don't need to watch me copy, but basically all you do, if you've never used an FTP client before, is you just drag and drop. Very easy. Okay. So it's already there. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to extract the database. Now, the database that gets saved when you back up your site the the file is going to be right here in the main right in the main uh, directory of the of the zip file okay it's going to be it's going to have a name associated with your your website so here you can see it's awesome underscore wrdp1 so it's your yours is going to say something underscore wrdp1 dot sql we're going to we want to extract that file from here to the desktop, okay? And here it is over here, okay? So there's your, your database file. Now, let's gonna go ahead and open up FTP again. I'm gonna refresh. Okay, and there's that file I just extracted. Now I wanna copy this into the same directory, the public HTML directory, okay? So I'm gonna copy that over. Okay, there it is here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to open up your dashboard again. Okay, on the site and go to your plugin and then tools. Now, since I placed that uh, database file in the public HTML folder, it already shows it here automatically. Okay, all you want to do is click on restore. Okay, the restore is done. Now it's telling you to delete that SQL file. So I'll go ahead and delete it here. I already, I already am done with it, so I don't need it anymore. Okay, now all you need to do is open up cPanel for the domain. Okay, I have that opened up here. Here is cPanel for this domain. Go to File Manager. Okay, it's going to ask you where you want to uh, open the the file manager, and I want it on the web root, which is the uh, public HTML. Okay, click go. All right, and now you see the zip file here. Now what I want to do is I want to extract this, and when I extract it, it's going to automatically override all of these files. Okay, so you just click on it like I already did, and go up here and click extract. Make sure it's extracting correctly. Yep, that's where you want it. And then click on Extract Files. And that's it. Click Close. Now I'll go ahead and open up my site. And refresh it. And there you go. This is the backup I took. It has a different theme. And I've made a post here so you can see that um, the post was, was restored. And that's all there is to it. Very simple, very easy. So uh, make sure you have backups of your WordPress sites 
Don't depend on your hosting company to do it for you. Make sure you have your own backups as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed the videos. Thanks.